This is all your fault. I'm not the one who told Eileen a cock and bull story about some lonely old deer. Yeah, well, maybe we can persuade her not to scatter them. We could say that someone's turned up out of the blue to claim them. After the song and dance we made about her having no relatives. All right, we have, I'll have to go along with this then. I mean, let her do what she needs to do. Oh, it feels so wrong. It would feel slightly less wrong than telling her that you've had a dead serial killer husband sat here for years. Oh. So I was thinking that nice bit up by the canal where it's green and all the ducks hang out. Lovely. And like I said, I want to say a few words. I mean, I'm no poet, but it break my heart thinking the old dear didn't have a send off. So, um, <clears throat> dear Patsy, I hope you find some peace here. I didn't know you in life, but you were somebody's daughter and possibly a mother like I am. And I'm sure your life was no less meaningful than mine. Stop. I can't let you do this. George. I can't in all conscience let you scatter these ashes. Because they don't belong to some old lady. Get a grip, will you? What, what on earth are you talking about? These ashes belong to Pat Phelan. I presume that this is some kind of sick joke, Todd? Look, we didn't want you to find out. I didn't know how to tell you. I wanted to get rid of him, but then you walked in and... I'm so sorry, Eileen. On the night in question, Mum. Don't call me that. Well, you are. Well, right now, I wish I wasn't. I'm sorry. I was trying to get rid of him so you didn't find out. I know I shouldn't have lied, but when you walked in... You were going to let me scatter those ashes believing it was some poor old woman. I even wrote a flaming eulogy. I didn't know what else to do. So you lied like you normally do. But to protect you. Some protection. All he did was lie. It's the same. So George has had him all this time? I only just found out myself, I swear. He wouldn't let me chuck them out. I'm so sorry, Mum. Sorry's not good enough. You're lucky I'm not changing the locks because I don't want you near me. And you can tell George the same. In fact, you can tell George I never want to see him again. Kelly wanted to 